All right, just finalizing the escape pod model here. Uh, thought it'd be a good time to just do a quick little breakdown of it. And uh, this is this is the final product. This is the production uh, escape pod. So um, it's built in our suspension technology, which, as you know, is the EPS core PVC and full carbon fiber construction. Um, as you all know, it's very light, very strong, very dependable, and uh, we love this stuff. Um, yeah, the escape pod is a twin fin. This is a board that was based off one of our archive models, models called the Phoenix. And some of you guys might have remembered the Phoenix. Uh, we introduced that board in 2015, and it was the first twin fin in production, and, and it did really well for us. It's basically our best on the board for three years, and within that Phoenix lineup, we had four different versions. And um, what's cool about the board and why it was so popular was um, all of a sudden people could go really, really short on a board and still be stable and paddle and catch waves. And uh, the escape pod is basically a culmination of all four versions, what we learned from all four versions and built it into one. Um, so compared to the Phoenix, this board has a wider range of performance. Um, you know, they're short, they're wide, they're thick. So these are head high and low style waves when we ride this board in. It's a twin fin, so it's really skatey, it's fast. Um, it kind of has that out of control feel at top speed, and that's kind of the magic of this board. You want that that feeling of spark and, and slide and, and speed. So you know, if you're comparing this board to like a Blur V2, it's completely opposite. This is a fast, fishy, skatey ride. With a Blur V2, is a lot more precise, and you know. You attack the way more like a short board, where this one has a little bit more flow. Um, it's really good for down the line speed, beating the section, coming out into the shoulder and doing a nice cutback. Um, big floaters, nice swooping turns on an open face, and um, it just goes fast by itself. And the unique, unique thing about it is just how short this is. This board is, this is the smallest one we're making, and it's 7.2 by 28 and 100 liters. And, um, you know, it seems like a small, compact design, and um, it is, that's, what, that, that's the whole point of this. And it's gonna fit in quiver nicely for a lot of people. Um, yeah, let's break down a little bit of the design. Starting with the top, you can see there's a lot of volume packed in this board. It's real thick, and the deck's really flat, so we're hiding volume in the board, and we always put a nice angled rail on it, and you can see clearly that it's thick here, but the rail in the water is very thin. So it's super, uh, this gives it a lot of control in the bike with a thinner rail, and it takes the volume away from the rail, puts it in the deck where you want it to flow and catch waves. This board will have our really nice traction. It's really thin, grippy, lightweight. Um, we went with a cream color, which is really cool. Um, the other design features, you can see that just the detail on this board is beautiful. We went with some pin line flames, but they're glossy, so it's like a matte finish board with a gloss pin line flames, which I think was excellent. Nice big kick tail on the back, and we throw some carbon fiber detail back here, you know, it looks really cool, dress it up a little bit, um, but also gives it some impact strength. You can see it's nice and wide, um, but it pulls in right here, and the tail is really interesting because it pulls in as well and we add a little bump and then another one back here so I'm calling it a hex tail. And what you're doing is you're getting different points of grip. Um, so this, this whole tail is working with the twin fin setup to give you more bite and more control. It is a twin fin so it doesn't come with a trailer in the middle. Once you start throwing a trailer in the middle of a twin fin on a board like this, it completely def defeats the purpose of this board. You know, so it makes no sense to have a center fin in this board. Um, you will ride it with a keel fin. It's an oversized um, classic keel fish, so it has a nice wide base. It gives you a lot of grip on the bottom and hold through the turn. This board's design is based off 
my love for Mindy Simmons designs. And Mindy Simmons design is, is a very specific fish board. Um, it's, it's flat, wide tail, and it has a lot of planing features in the, in the design. So the entry of this board isn't a concave, it actually has a little bit of a belly, right? It's a rolled belly into it. So what that does is lift instantly when you catch a wave. So it's just rising and creating some lift. That goes into a little bit of a flat spot. And then you can see it has a pretty long and nice V with concave in it. So you can all that lift and it just settles into the concave. And so it just it has a skate above the water kind of float speed into this board. And that's, that's kind of magic behind it. And that's the feeling you get when you ride this board. And that's why it, some, something about it is addicting, you know, that just that above the water kind of skip speed. And uh, this, this long concave um, gives it a lot of rail to rail transition maneuverability and then also a lot of grip where you match up the edges with the fins and then of course the corners of the board. All this is working together very precisely. Um, developed this board with Dan Rodinger. Um, it was so fun to work on this board with him. He's the perfect guy to work on this board because he's enthusiastic as I am with twin fins. And um, if you see him ride this board, this is how it's meant to be ridden. You know, you almost slow down. You don't get aggressive like a short board. You, you flow a little more, um, but when the time's right, you throw a little aggression into it. And, um, perfect example just to watch some of the clips we have up there. Um, beautiful surfer, matched up with a beautiful board, and it just looks right. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm excited for everyone to try this board. I, I feel everyone has room for something like this in your quiver. Like I said, it, it, it's, in a, it's a complement to your quiver. It's not meant to replace your quiver or your beeline. It's something that you put in your van with your other board, you show up to the beach, and you kind of assess the conditions, and you, you're like, you know what, it's a little flatter, a little um, high tide. This board's gonna skate across that, and you're gonna have a blast. If it's bigger, it's bowling, and there's tiers and stuff, of course, you're gonna ride your thrust, you're gonna have more pull. But um, most of the time, we're riding the crappier way, so that you're gonna find yourself riding this board a lot more than you, than you think you are. For production, we're offering three sizes to start with, and they're, they're core, core sizes, 7.2, 2,800 liters, 7.6, 2,915 liters, 7.10, 30, and 125 liters. So I know what you're thinking, you're like, wow, I, I ride 125 liters, but my board's 8.5. You know, you can't think of that. If you match up the liters with your weight, if you can ride a, a board that's 8, 5, 125 liters, you can ride this board at 125 liters. It's gonna be that much shorter, that much more quick and fun, and you're gonna be stoked. So, um, that's it, you guys. Any questions, hit us up. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this board's so light, so killer. I think if you see it, you'd agree, and the escape pod. Have fun, we'll see you on the water.